Happy Aloha Friday to you. The city's former managing director, Roy Amemiya, has received a target letter from the feds. Amemiya's attorney says he got it yesterday, and that's all he can say. And though Amemiya is no longer managing director, he's still on the city's payroll. Max Rodriguez has our top story. A target letter from the U.S. Department of Justice usually means there is evidence against the person receiving it. KHO12 News confirms the second in command to former Honolulu Mayor Kirk Caldwell, Roy Amemia, received a target letter Thursday. A target letter is often considered very serious because it is an indication by the federal government to whoever is getting the target letter um, that they may have committed a crime. Um, and so uh, may is a, is a loose term. It doesn't mean that the person has been charged with anything. Amemia had received a subject letter from the DOJ last July. He was able to carry on with his duties with the city through the end of Caldwell's administration. If somebody started off as the subject of an investigation and now they're a target, it's definitely an indication from the government that there's been more evidence that's been developed. Amemia remains on city dime. City Council Member Calvin Say brought him on board as a special projects manager. In a statement, Say says, I can only speak to what I know to be true, which is that Roy Amemia has served this office as a legislative aide working on special projects since the beginning of my term. His service to me and to Council District 5 has been sincere, honest, diligent, and invaluable. We're told Amemia is now on administrative paid leave. Chen says there is no legal timeline for those who receive a target letter. There's also no guarantee that criminal charges will follow. Former prosecutor Keith Kaneshiro, as well as former corporation counsel Donna Leong, were sent target letters back in 2019. Keith Kaneshiro, the former Honolulu prosecutor, um, other individuals um, have received target letters, but um, they actually haven't been charged with anything. At this point, it is unclear why Amemia was sent the target letter. At what point will the public be made aware of? What's behind this target letter? If they go to the federal grand jury in this case and obtain an indictment, then there will be a public filing that says this is the criminal charge uh, that has occurred against this person. Um, we're not at that stage yet. Max Rodriguez, KH12 News, working.